Hey Susan, today I'm doing a bit of a get on review with me. I'm showing you how I actually get out of dry makeup and out of my wings and out of my face. Uh, so first things we're gonna do is we are going to take the wig off. So I lift it in the back and then I like to slide it forward. Now I haven't glued it down, but if I glued it down, I would just honestly rip it because it'll just take off the makeup. Anyway, I'm taking out my pins. So I use a little U pins. So I just take those out because those are like underneath the duct tape on the front and the back, uh, holding them in. And that's why I can get away with only using four pins. I use two at the front and two at the back. Now I'm just going to take my wig head. I'm going to pop it on the wig head and pin it. I always, no matter how tired I am, I always pin my wigs to my wig head. If I do not, I will regret it. Uh, because I'll have to completely restyle a wig. Which is not what we want. This look will be up on the channel later, but now what I do is I take the duct tape, I find where it ends. And I slowly peel it back. And I take off my wig cap. And I separate this, I toss that, I'm just gonna toss it in a pile of the back. And the wig cap that can go in the clothing matter. And now for the lashes, what I do is I just rip them off because I don't care about things. Lash changes the face so much, yikes. It's like I have them out. Take here. But that one they're gone. It's a bit mm -hmm. It just the means the face is no longer changed. Oh no. And I'm just gonna put them back on like their last case. So I can reuse them for like five months and then maybe get an eye infection and stuff. Or keep going. Dun 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 bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum So now that the dry and the actual makeup itself is off, we can begin the actual removal and skincare process. So, I like to take... So I take a cold cream. I use the Pond's cold cream. I use it because it is polyethylene free. Polyethylene is essentially a liquid plastic. So I don't want that on my face and I don't want that going through the drain, so polyethylene free cold cream. Um, so if we look at the ingredients, because that's what we do, um, you can see that there is some fragrance. However, it is a wash of treatment. So um, fragrance is not a big concern. However, it is a well-known irritant. So if you are highly sensitive to fragrance, do not use this. Use something without fragrance. I don't know what happens not have fragrance, um, but like, I, 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 I like these. Um, it is pretty basic. It's just a bunch of mineral oils to break down the makeup. No polyethylene. Uh, and it is... What was the other thing? It does have some fragrance. Uh, also, if you turn over and you see alcohol, do not be scared of alcohol. Uh, it is not the same type of alcohol as the drying alcohol or isopropyl alcohol or anything. This is acetyl alcohol that is used to help it emulsify and break up the product and also just make it like bind better. Uh, it's nothing to be afraid of. The fragrance that it has is safe. Uh, never mind. It's just, it's, this is savings because they can just not disclose the fragrance. Um, but it's pretty low in the list. So the lists are kind of this from the most potent to the least potent. And then anything under a certain um, percent, I think it's down in the Phenoxin, phenoxyethanol, that's the rule. Phenoxyethanol, anything below that, 1% or less, because uh, that's when they stop having to list it in order. Um, so it's mainly, it's just like, it's main ingredient is just mineral oil and it works. So I take this, oh, I put it down, my sink is so far away. I need to take my phone out of my sink so I don't put holes on it later. But because of the ring light and my camera being over here, I am not near my sink. But I take a handful of these. 
more this. Probably more because it is a bit here. And then I take it in my hand. And now I like to be a little bit in one of the iron, right? but the rest can just get like aggressively scrubbed. Whenever I have anything blocked. So I have brows right now, so my eyebrows aren't blocked, but my sideburns are blocked, so I really like to work it in. I like to just peel gently because it takes it down enough that you can just peel as well without ruining or ripping out your hair. And I like to go in my back because I don't think I've done the back because it is black and white. And now I take cloth. I don't use white one only, but I use white one for demonstration purposes. Oh, that's your best. Now let's go. Be gentle around the eyes. However, you don't need to wipe out at all because it is good remover. I don't know where this accent is coming from, but this accent is joining us. And now I look less like a mortal being and more like potato. So, because this is a very heavy makeup, I do need to double like double clean, not double cleanse, because this is not my double cleanse, my double cleanse is separate. Uh, but I need to use this cream again on anywhere where it's not coming off, so I take less cream this time. I go back in, I go boop. And then I wake it in anywhere. I'm looking at mirror now. Get it straight in the ear, because I did all my ear and makeup. Do not use alcohol, do not use, well don't use alcohol wipes, but do not use baby wipes or makeup wipes on your skin, they are very sensitizing. And they, that sensitizing essentially means your skin will become more sensitive, especially to the ingredients in them, and just ingredients in general. Also, makeup wipes are one of the worst things for the environment, so just don't use a clean cleanser, even the ones with polyethylene, which is plastic as well. Now I take more because it did not get down the neck. And now I take cloth, which is still nitty, and I go down. And just to remove it. And now that we no longer look like a new stone person, we look like naked mole rats slash potato. And now skin is ready for actual skincare and looking after it. Most of the makeup is off, however not all of it is. That will be fixed when we get to cleansing. Now we take another washer. Sorry, another face in the cloth. This one is probably dirty. Because I did not clean, well I did clean it, but it's not specifically bleach and clean it, so it was white. This is not meant to be white though, it is meant to be brown. So, I'm going to put this under water, I'm going to turn hot water on. Hot water heater is on now. Now I make it wet with hot, but not too hot. You want it to wet around like, I don't know, I like about 38 degrees. You want to be a lot colder than what you'd shower because your body skin can tolerate a lot more than your facial skin. Now we take the wet cloth and we put over the whole face. We just kind of dab it. Now my skin is not sensitive, it is reactive, reactive in parts. So that essentially means it will go red, but then quite quickly it will go back to normal. Sensitivity is like long-term redness and long-term irritation. Mine is just reactive. Now that this is wet, we go into with cleanser. Currently, I am jumping around kind of movements because I am out of the one I normally use. I normally use Prepara. It is one that is gentle, soft, easy. Dermatologist, like a man with it. However, I am out of that and the shipping is hard because COVID 19. So, this one. I don't know, it's. This is a Fizzahex. Fizz, it's mostly rubbed off, but it's the one that is like pH effects or something that's like pronounced floss effects. Oh, Fizzahex, Fizzahex. If we look at the ingredients, oh wait, they do not disclose their ingredients, which is shady boots. However, it is okay. Uh, you can find it, I think, on their website, the ingredients, but it's only got, I don't think it has any fragrance. No, it, it wouldn't have fragrance. It smells like literally nothing. Like, I don't know how they're dying because it literally doesn't even smell like skincare. Don't get in your eyes though, because it does irritate your eyes. And I just rub it. 
And then I whack it in small circles all the face. Okay, so this one, Physahex, or whatever the fuck it is, essentially it's really good for oily skin. However, for my skin, I ended up finding out it was quite uh, drying because I do have naturally dry skin. I would like to actually recommend CeraVe Moisturizing Facial Wash because it is really good, gentle, neutral, and it doesn't really strip out the skin while still doing its job. Okay, bye. On to me. You just want a gentle cleanser um, after you've been doing drag because drag is going to damage your skin enough that you don't want it on a non dry face. Use a more intense cleanser because you are not doing the makeup and the wool and rubbing process. And then we'd go down the neck with more. Even though it is technically daytime out, I am not leaving house and the shutters are down. So, I mean, this is my nightmare routine, I guess, technically. So. Bitch, don't lie, you can see those open ass shutters in the background reflection. Now I take the same washer that was wet and I go over face. I normally do this in the shower, but that is not something that I will be filming. I am not starting in only parts. Now, um, I normally do final cleanse. However, because I use more product in the washer, I consider that my cleanse. So now I'm going to pat face dry. I forgot to grab a can tell, so I'm going to use another facial washer. Here's another one, but this one is dry and clean, and I'm just going to tap it every time to absorb some, most of the moisture. If you don't want your skin quite fully dry for the next step, but you do want it pretty dry. Now, we do after shower skincare. So, I like to start with a serum. Where is this one? Nope. This one, this is a mixture of serums actually. This is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5, and it is also the Marine Hyaluronic Serum, both from the ordinary. But I was running low on both, and one would not drop, so I just mix them together. I'm going to take maybe two drops. I'm going to put them on the face. Do not take the dropper to your face. That allows bacteria to get into the dropper and then back onto your face next time. You see it on Instagram, do not do it off Instagram or even on Instagram. They do it because it creates an attractive thumbnail. And right down the neck, because the neck is in the you should theoretically be doing it all the way down to the decolletage, all the way down the decolletage. However, um, I'm lazy and I am cheap, so I do not use that much product. Now that that's done, I'm going to seal the bottle, because otherwise you will spill the bottle, and that is non-negotiable. And now I take the... The Tarte Maracuja C... The Tarte Maracuja Vitamin C Brightener Eye Treatment thing. I don't know, eye creams don't work, they're just thick moisturizers. Um, so this is just like a thick moisturizer with, um, vitamin C. But hey, I got it gifted, so I'm gonna use it. Not from the brand, but from like a person. And vitamin C just like brightens areas. It's really, really basic, and I'm glad that they had the common sense to not add citrus fragrance, because that's what's associated with vitamin C. Considering it's product that's on your eyes that you won't even smell, and your eyes are the most sensitive area of your face to fragrance. Now, finally, um, unless I'm doing like a sheet mask, because that comes after. Uh, actually, not finally. So if my skin is like really irritated, breaking out, inflamed, anything red, like redness related, like acne scarring, blah, 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 I will do an LED face mask. So essentially, before you put anything on, you go like this, and you press this button, and then this glow is blue. And then, you leave it on for 10 minutes and it's like meant to reduce inflammation and help products absorb in crap. Um, I don't know, there is science. It's go on head. Now, we take moisturizer. I use CeraVe. This one is the moisturizing cream for drying to very dry skin. Ooh. My skin is dry but very sweaty, which is hard. So, ingredients, very simple, very basic, but very hydrating. It's just water, glycerin, serotonin uh, alcohol, which is just like an agent that allows it to bind better and deeper penetrate the skin. It's nothing to be scared of. 
um, dimethicone, which is really good for hydration and locking, so that it prevents, like, locking a layer over the skin, because it prevents transepidermal, transepidermal water loss, which is the process of your skin losing moisture and water throughout the night. Transepidermal water loss is bad. So, trans, out. Like, out and swapping. And epidermal, epidermis is your skin, and then water loss, mean it go out. Turns out the water loss. It stops it. Uh, and also, it kind of feels good because it has uh, some silicones in it. Um, so, yeah. Anything else that's kind of special? It has xanthan gum, which is used in baking sometimes, but it's just like a thickener. So, I'm going to take a decent amount. I take quite a bit, even though you do not eat that much. It says to take a little amount, but it still does not eat that much. Oh, because my skin is very dry, and I have been dry. I'm going to put it everywhere. So bam, that is my skincare. If it were daytime, I would not use the serums, I would only use the moisturizer, and then I would go in with sunscreen. And I would just cleanse once. I only cleanse once in the day, uh, and that's because I do my deep stuff at night, and then I only do moisturizer at night with sunscreen. I use a 50 SPF, and you want to use a three finger bowl, so there is one line down each of three these fingers, and that is my sunscreen for your face and neck. Any less than it, and you are not getting the correct protection. Sunscreen is makeup in, in sunscreen in makeup is not the makeup. Bye. Bye, Susan. Bye, Susan. Yara. Oh my god, Hiram, Susan Yara, react, haha. Ha. Bye, Susan Yara, bye. Bye, Susan. Did I say hi, Susan? Oh, bye, Susan.